transfer portal season still very busy, just a little over a week removed from the opening of that transfer portal window back on December 5th. And Iowa getting news that yet another DB will be uh, leaving the Hawkeyes, or at least looking to leave. Iowa defensive back Dallas Cradith taking off. I'm going to tell you what I admire about Dallas Cradith and why this move makes sense on a number of levels. We're going to get to that in a moment. First, I want to thank Ascent Nutrition and their uh, unbelievable coffee. It's premium. It's mold and mycotoxin free. Visit GoAscentNutrition.com. Use that code Hawkeyes to receive 15% off your order. This coffee was recently featured on uh, Fox Business, CNN. That's being featured on PBS. Again, check out this stuff. It uh, It's great. And it, again, you support the channel when you're supporting uh, our sponsors. So uh, reason to check out Ascent Nutrition, all their products, but especially this coffee at GoAscentNutrition.com. Com and under the kitchen, Randy Engel with his tremendous Hawkeye prints. He's constantly getting new deals with uh, athletes, uh, current players, future players. Check out his stuff. Visit Under the Kitchen on Facebook for more details. And you can certainly message Randy on how much it costs to purchase one of these prints. Great gift ideas for fellow Hawkeye fans. All right, so the news on this Tuesday, Iowa defensive back Dallas Cradith entering the transfer portal. Now, I understand some people who are upset with some of the decisions like, you know, Jacobs decides to leave and he's now with Oregon. And, you know, I don't think anybody who's reasonable can really blame a guy like Keegan Johnson or Arlen Bruce for leaving, given the the issues on offense. But I can understand a guy like Justin Jacobs kind of wondering, well, why is he leaving? Is it just a money grab? What is it? I'll say this about Dallas Creative. I admire this young man. I spoke with him at Iowa Media Day in August. And let's not forget, I've talked about this before on this very channel, but Dallas Cradith was a very highly touted recruit back in, I believe, what, the 2018 class? Um, He is a Missouri native. But let me just real quickly read through some of his offers he had at a high school. All right. Of course, Iowa, he picks the Hawkeyes. He visited Illinois, who offered, Indiana offered, Iowa State, Kansas, Kansas State, Kentucky, Louisville, Memphis, Michigan State, Minnesota, Nebraska, Mizzou, North Carolina, Northwestern, Ole Miss, Purdue, Syracuse, Vandy, Wisconsin. Uh, I mean, he had a laundry list of offers. He picks the Hawkeyes and really doesn't see the field at all. I mean, he's seen the field on special teams, but on defense, he really has not seen the field And again, he was part of the 2018 class. You may say, well, what would you admire about a kid who apparently isn't good enough to see the field? Well, first of all, this is the era, as we have found out the hard way this um, these over the last couple of weeks. This is the era of leaving when either A, you don't get playing time right away, or B, you've encountered some adversity. I think it's fair to say Dallas Creative has encountered some adversity. Again, he's a four-star recruit, according to rivals at a high school. And has never been able to see the field here. I've never heard anybody say a bad word about Dallas Cradith, that his work ethic is poor. Uh, Phil Parker's been asked about Dallas Cradith, has never said a bad word about him. Cradith has worked on special teams. He has been a part uh, of some of Iowa's bigger plays on special teams. I know last year he made a big block. I believe it was on a Charlie Jones punt return. So I, I just admire a young man who's stuck with it. I don't blame some of the athletes for leaving if they're here for two or three years and they're not seeing the field like a Reggie Bracey, right? I mean, Bracey, you know, is he going to play next year? He was, a, you know, on the two deep this year, but you got Xavier Wampa coming up. He wants somewhere to play. I don't blame him for that. I know some people do because they feel like, well, you don't give up. You should stick with what you're doing. That's going to serve you in the long run. And I understand that perspective. But Dallas Creative decided to stick around. I'm guessing, A, because he wanted to graduate. I know when I spoke with him in August, he talked about his love for his teammates, his love of Iowa. I just admire a young man who is taught well. He gave a lot of credit to his mom for teaching him that stick to if you will. And, and he's a guy I just rooted for this year. I wish he could have seen the field on defense. Obviously, Phil Parker's got a plethora of talent. I mean, this kid will probably go somewhere and play, would be my guess. Now, he may go a level down, right? He may transfer to an FCS school or, uh, you know, even maybe a a group of five school and play. I I wish the very best for this young man and very, very well-mannered, polite kid. And, you you know, you just want to see a kid like this have success. I'm happy he's entering the portal, not because I don't want to see him in an Iowa uniform next year, but because I want to see him have success. I want to see him experience success on the field because believe you me, 
with this type of mindset and the character that Dallas Creative has demonstrated, he will have success off the field. I'm confident in saying that. Again, think about it. He was here in 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. He'll be earning a sixth year. He'll have one year left. Best wishes, Dallas Creative. He is the epitome of what you want in a guy wearing the black and gold. And uh, just wish him all the best and hope he gets playing time somewhere else. All right, folks, I will be live with uh, the one and only Mark Rogers, the voice of college football Tuesday. If you're watching this Tuesday or if you're watching this after our show with Mark on Tuesday, or maybe you're watching this on Wednesday, go back and watch the Tuesday show. I'm live with him every Tuesday at 4.30 p.m. Central Time over at the Iowa Football at the Voice of College Football channel. We'll talk about the portal and, unfortunately, the passing of Mike Leach. Um, I never got to know Mike Leach. I just found out today through Coach John Patterson that Mike Leach uh, was at one time at Iowa Wesleyan. Didn't know the connection there. We're going to talk with Mark about Mike Leach because uh, what a figure in college football. But he was more than that. He was a father. He was a husband. And so certainly thoughts go out to his family and his friends and his players, his uh, workmates, right, his staff. Um, just life is unfair and life in this world is unfair at times. So uh, we'll talk about him. We'll talk about Iowa football. We'll talk about the transfer portal live Tuesday with Mark Rogers over at Iowa football at the voice of college football. We'll talk to you then.